Hi there, I thought I'd put together a quick video just showing how the FSC virtual learning environment works because I know a few people have had a couple of problems with it. So starting off in front of you, you should see the login screen that you'll get to when you click on the link that was provided in the initial email that was sent out from the platform. Um, it says here to enter your username or email. I recommend that you just enter your username as email addresses don't seem to be working. Your username is usually your first name, then a full stop, then your surname. Okay, so if we enter mine in there. And then the password will have been provided to you again in that first email, but um, from your first time logging on, you are able to change it. So I'll put in my password there. And that brings us onto the FSC virtual learning environment. Here you'll see the courses that you're enrolled in, which in this case is just discovering iRecord. So if I click on that there, it will take me to the course. Now on the main screen here, you'll see a couple of things. First of all, on the left hand side, you've got the topics that are within the course. So we've got an introductory bit here with some information about the course. Welcome to discovering iRecord. That includes a forum with announcements where I'll be releasing any news such as um, so far there's a thread welcoming everybody and a thread about iRecord site maintenance um, just letting everybody know that the iRecord website was going to be down for maintenance for a short period. To get back to where we were we just click back up here on discovering iRecord. So going down more topics we've got a topic about the live webinars which gives all the details of when the live webinars are. Uh, the, each live webinar is repeated at one o'clock and six o'clock on uh, on the last day of each week for each module and you've also got the information about how to access that here including a link through to where the webinar will take place and then you've got the main event the main topics with all the content um, it's worth noting that the content for each topic will open up on a specific day so each topic is taught over one week so in the beginning you'll only have access to the first week on the right hand side here as well, you'll see um, a picture of the iRecord logo. If you click on that at any time, it will take you through to the iRecord website. Um, you've got some of the latest announcements here and a navigation pane to get to different places. Uh, you've also got a course completion status block, which tells you how, how far along in the course that you are. Um, going back to the the topics and the way resources appear in them. We looked at the announcements that I, that I showed you earlier, but I'd like to show you this as well. This is the About This Course Workbook. And if you click on here, it takes you to what we call a workbook. A workbook is a series of different pages giving you information about a linked subject. So this is all about getting to know what the course is about. So the first page is what we call a course overview. And then if you see here on the right hand side, you can see the table of contents with the other um, the other pages that are contained within this workbook. So if we click on here, we can look at an overview of week two, which is grid references and submitting records. At the bottom, you've got these navigation hyperlinks, which can take you back a page or forward a page. So we're currently on page four. If we want to go to the next page, we can just click here. And those hyperlinks appear both at the top of the page and the bottom of the page within the workbook. And as I showed you before, um, when I was in the forum, to get back to the main page for the course, you just click back up here at Discovering iRecord. So moving down to the main um, topics, the first topic, Rec 101, Introduction to Biological Recording, has a number of different types of resources and activities, which are listed here. So to complete the topic, to compl you would need to work through each of those. I'd recommend working through them one by one in order, and that's why they're numbered here. I'm gonna show you a couple because they're different formats for different types of resources and activities. So the first one here, assignment 1.1, is a forum assignment. And if we click on that, here we have a number of questions that I've asked, well, a, a, a master question and a number of sub-questions that I've asked people to answer um, to complete the assignment. And to reply, you simply click here on reply. It will open up a box and you can type in your reply. Uh, we can see here that we've got lots of replies from all the participants. And as with the workbooks, there are navigation panes on the bottom. So to get to the next activity, um, 
we just click on that hyperlink there. Now the next activity is a workbook, another workbook, this time about biological recording. And just like with the about this course, you can work through it page by page by clicking on the, reading through the content and clicking on the hyperlinks. As we can see here as well, sometimes um, pages or workbooks will have a video within them. And by clicking on the, the play button there, you should be able to play the video within the window. So if we go back to discovering my record main page again, and go back down to Rep 101. So we can see here, we've got a form assignment, and we've got the workbook. We've also got these things called pages. So the iRecord site tour is a page. If we click on that, we can see it's very similar in format to a workbook. It has the content. It may have videos within it. Um, the difference is that it doesn't have that table of contents on the right hand side, because a page is a single page rather than a series of pages. And if we go back again, two more things to show you. The next one is um, this symbol here, which is an class as an assignment. And assignments give you some instructions on how to complete the assignment. And then at the bottom, there's a there's a detail of how you uh, details of how you submit the assignment. Now, in this case, I've already submitted it, submitted it, but there would be a button there to submit normally. And again, if we go to the bottom, we can go to the next page by clicking on the hyperlink. That's another page. And if we go through to the last one, which I'll actually go this way, just so you can see the symbol. The last one is a slightly different symbol again. And this kind of activity is a quiz or a test. And if we click on there, um, I've already completed this one and I don't want to show you the answers I've given. Um, so but you'd be able to press a start the quiz there. It will give you a series of questions for you to answer and then you get your grade here. Okay, and that in a nutshell are all of the different types of activities and resources that you'll, that you'll be shown on the course. These checkboxes here show when you've completed one of the um, assignments or resources. So you should work through them and the week's completed when all of these checkboxes have been ticked.